What's up everybody, my name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics and it's Full Auto Friday. We're back out of the range and today we're gonna have some more fun with the Safe Life Defense Frost Body Armor. Frost stands for Flexible Rifle Armor System. We already did a video on this earlier this week. It took everything we could throw at it and then some. I was really, really impressed. We still have one good panel left, so I thought let's test it out on Full Auto Friday. So I've got it hooked up to Spanky, our ballistic gel dummy over there. We're gonna see how it holds up against some Full Auto Fire. But real quick, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Acre Gold. I'm really excited to tell you about this because with this whole pandemic thing, a lot of people are starting to rethink their investments and some people are wanting to invest in gold. It can be kind of expensive though, but with Acre, they have a subscription service where you pay $50 a month. Then once you build up to enough to buy a 2.5 gram bar, they mail it to your house discreetly. This is high quality gold. This was designed in California and minted in Switzerland. I think it's a really cool subscription service. It makes it really easy to invest in gold. They even have options as low as $30 a month and you can always change your plan or even cancel. If this is something you're interested in, make sure you use my link in the description down below. So here's what I'm thinking. This panel is still pretty much good. It did get hit on the very top with some 460 where I accidentally shot too high. But for the most part, this entire panel is still pretty good. It's rated for rifle rounds, so that's what we're gonna hit it with. It's rated for 7.62 by 39 and 5.56, so that's what we're gonna use first. We've got the AK-47, and I'm gonna give it a fair shake. I've just got 10 rounds of 7.62 by 39 full metal jackets. These are made by PMC. And uh, just gonna hit it all in the middle, see how it holds up. And then after that, we'll move on to something a little bit bigger. Okay, well I did a little dance there. I didn't want to hold it in one spot. Uh, we shot our table. I really don't know how many rounds actually hit the armor. There, one there, two, three. I'm gonna do a few more rounds right there. I was trying not to shoot them all in the same spot and instead I wiggled around too much and really didn't hit the armor too much. So uh, let's hit it with 10 more rounds. I did shoot above the armor and hit Spanky. Sorry about that, Spanky. These two spots, I don't even think I shot the armor. I just kind of shot above the armor and they zipped right through him. So I'm counting about 14 hits on this vest out of 20. Several were all in the same spot right here. And we did have one pass through and go through Spanky. Oh, and it hit our cinder block. There's the round right there. For this round to zip through that ballistic gel and then still bust that block, that tells me it still had a lot of energy. So it definitely must have went through where there was no ceramic, nothing stopping that round because, yeah, it still had a lot of power. I would say just the one round passing through out of all those rounds hitting in one spot really isn't that bad. So you just got hit with 14 rounds out of a fully automatic AK-47. Now here comes this guy running up. He's got a CMMG MKW-15 full auto chambered in 458 SOCOM. He's got 10 rounds of Underwood ammo, 300 grain match solids. Your vest is already compromised. Is it going to hold up? There's only one way to find out. Wow, that really did a number on Spanky. All right, I can already tell you that uh, we had a few pass through. Oh, man, these things heavy. Let's dust him off here. So let's see. Oh dear, 
Yeah, we already had one pass through and it looks like now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think, I think almost all of them went through the vest and then went through spanking. This thing is pretty much toast. Goodness gracious. This armor is pretty much toast. All the ceramic in it is probably broke up and I would say the chances of it stopping any kind of rifle round right now probably aren't good. It would be a good idea to stop, but that's not the full auto Friday way. So I have 30 rounds of 7.62 still loaded up and we're gonna do a little mag dump. That never gets old. Well, I am guessing, oh dear. Wow, I don't know. That still may have stopped a few of those. I'm guessing it didn't stop all of them though. Oh, I'd say there's quite a few new pass-throughs, but not as many as I would think. There's definitely not 30. Um, I think that this still stopped quite a few rounds, actually. All right, move over. Open this up completely. So you can really see all the holes now. There's a bunch. Wow. All right. Oh, wow, let me turn this. Look at that. Jeez, pretty much all our ceramic got eaten away. You can see there's a few panels here on the sides and that's how this is able to be flexible it's because it has lots of these little guys in here layered all over the vest and allows it to move. Jeez, so we'll flip this over. And yeah, it looks like that actually stopped a bunch because I don't see that many holes. <laughs> We're getting, getting to rounds here. There's one. There's a round. There's one right there. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. That one's missing its jacket and everything. There's one. That one went deep. It's so cool to see them stuck in there like that. There's one. So going through this layer by layer, you can really see how many made it through completely. So this is the last two layers and you can see where we actually had some pass throughs and I'm guessing it's where fire was concentrated like right here. Once this was all weakened, it was able to make it through here, here, and here. There is a 458 SOCOM round. Oh man, what is that? That's not, oh that's from the 460 that hit it the other day. We were already compromised from the beginning. What a mess. Well, that's gonna be it for this Full Auto Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. I said it in the previous video and I'll say it again. I am really, really impressed by this body armor. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do me a favor and give this video a like. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you hit that bell for notifications. YouTube doesn't always notify you when I upload new videos. The bell doesn't always work, but at least you tried. 
If you want to support Kentucky Ballistics, the easiest way to do that is by picking up some gear. There's a link in the description down below that'll take you to KentuckyBallistics.com. Also, make sure you're following me on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to those can also be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.